disorders of epiphysis and epiphyseal growth. Nutrition of the epiphysis and its epiphyseal plate. Epiphysis receive blood vessels only through their bare bone areas. Others, such as the femoral head, being completely interarticular and completely covered by articular cartilage, receive their blood supply precariously from vessels that must penetrate the cartilage clothing. Epiphyseal blood supply is also responsible for the nutrition of the growing cells of the epiphyseal plate. Ischemia of the epiphysis associated with epiphyseal plate, disturbance of longitudinal growth of the bone. A vascular necrosis of bone. Death bone only limited to epiphysis. Synonyms: a vascular necrosis, a septic necrosis, ischemic necrosis. Characteristic: loss of blood supply, result in bone death and replaced gradually by living bone. It's a common phenomenon in fracture and also in bone grafts, which eventually become replaced by living bone. Idiopathic avascular necrosis of epiphysis or the osteochondrosis. It's a number of idiopathic disorders of epiphysis in growing children that suffer from avascular necrosis and its sequelae. This is called osteochondrosis. The major concern during pathological process, the involved epiphysis may become permanently deformed, result in second degenerative arthritis of the joint. Osteochondrosis usually involves a second epiphyseal center or pressure epiphysis at the end of long bone. It also involves primary epiphyseal center of small bone, tarsal navicular. The most susceptible are those entirely covered by articular cartilage and therefore have a precarious blood supply. General features of the osteochondrosis, incidence and etiology. Most common in the middle of growth, 3 to 10 years old. Boys are greater than the girls. Lower limb are greater than upper limb. It is considered that the underlying cause of osteochondrosis is avascular necrosis of the epiphyseal plate. Trauma may play a role. In idiopathic type, less severe trauma may produce a complication such as pathological fracture. Pathogenesis, early phase of necrosis, the phase of avascularity. Phase of revascularization with bone deposition and resorption. Phase of bone healing. Phase of residual deformity. Clinical features and diagnosis. Quiet, early phase, no symptoms and clinical signs. Phase of revascularization. Pathological fracture in subchondral bone. Pain, synovial effusion, local tenderness and painful limitation of motion, especially abduction. If the above persists, this use orthropy. Occasionally, a child goes through all phase without symptoms. Diagnosis is made based on radiograph taken for another purposes. Radiographically differential diagnosis is hypothyroidism, epiphyseal dysplasia. Sequelae: subchondral fracture in epiphysis, subluxation of the involved joint. Deformity of the epiphysis, joint incongruity, late second degenerative joint disease. The treatment, this is a self-limiting disease with or without treatment. The aim is to prevent of abnormal forces of the epiphysis. Osteochondrosis of the femoral head, most common in ages of 3 to 11 years old, more common in boys, physically active boys, bilateral. Approximately 15% have a familial incidence. Gag et al. Antithrombotic factor, deficiencies, and hypofibrinolysis result in thrombophilia, may be an ideological significance. This disease is being used to explain all the osteochondrosis pathology and pathogenesis, the most important pathological subchondral fracture and second subluxation of the hip. The symptoms and signs are similar to those described in the general section. The pain in this disease may be felt in the region of the hip, but may be also be referred to the knee. Specific limitation of hip joint, reduction and internal rotation. The disuse atrophy is most noticeable in upper part of thigh. The child walks in a limb of the antalgic or protective type. From pain by rapidly taking weight off the foot on the involved side with each step. Or Trendelenburg sign. 
MRI is useful in early diagnosis. Subchondral fractures in the epiphysis, subluxation of the joint, flattening of the epiphysis, result in incongruity, plant degenerative joint disease. Underlying treatment principle, containment of the femoral head for range of hip joint motion, for weight bearing, in abduction plaster cast, battery or brace, cast is more effective than brace. Purposes, femoral head doesn't flatten. Surgical procedures, various femoral osteotomy and enaminate osteotomy, prevent or overcome subluxation of the hip. It's successful in children more than 5 years with more than half of the head involved who consequently have a bad prognosis. These operations are performed before any deformity developed. After the osteotomy united, approximately in 6 weeks, the child is allowed to walk and run without brace or crutches.